Everyone, we are back. This is your woolly mammoth crew. I am George. I am Jadu on screen. Uh, uh, and, and I'm we, standing here. Oh, okay. This time. Uh, uh, yeah, last time Welcome we got back. this guy, the Inky. Um, so if you don't like the name, take up with JD. She forced me to name Jinkies. it Jinky. Yeah, uh, that was me. So you I can take it. that up with her. Uh, I like yeah. it though. Oh, yeah. My men and I will never surrender. Well, too bad. At you. Uh, we shall destroy you. Yeah, there's plenty of us. Yeah, last, last episode, shit got crazy because Max, Max was talking about killing people. Max was like, I want to murder Max. my friend. And then they're like, you shall murder him. It wasn't Max. Yeah, it was the general. Yeah. Which he stopped selling car insurance and <laughs> became a giant dick. I was dick just thinking of that. That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, some general, general. say some time. Get your car and your general mind. Whatever. It's oh so yeah, nice. I forgot the, how the song goes. I was trying to think what's how to. Oh here, Nidrasil. Nidrasil was the one that I was saying as like foot jam treatment. Not Gyalis. Gyalis, I think it was the vagina treatment. I was. <laughs> yeah, don't get those mixed up. <laughs> Important to make the distinction. Between, um, so if you had, if you have a mental move like your narcotic, Arcolectic, yeah, it would know. do double yeah? damage oh, against okay. tats. Okay. Against Tati. Tati. Tatiana. Oh, if I fours. if I catch a Tataru, I should name it Tatiana. Tatiana Maslani. <laughs> Orphan <laughs> I, Black. Yeah, she's she she listens to our show. Or she watches our show. She's You're a so big fan. <laughs> she's like, when she's not recording She Hulk, she's like, oh, I'll watch uh, Wooly Mammoth Gaming and relax. <laughs> Did you know she's that would gonna, be great. Did you know she's going to be the new She Hulk on uh, Disney Plus? Yeah, I heard about that. There were like these <clears throat> trailers on YouTube, but I think they were fake. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I was curious to watch it. But yeah, I thought, I think they weren't real. I don't think they were real. Didn't seem, to... They didn't seem real. Yeah. So, like, if there's a real trailer, maybe you guys can put it on the comment there so I can watch it. Because I am curious to see. To see how she does as the... A real trailer, yeah. yeah. Tatiana Maslany. Which I never watched Orphan Black. but It's I, a really good show. I, I mean, know her primarily from Comedy Bang Bang. Because she was on... Comedy she's like bang, on bang, at comedy, least bang, once bang. a year. Yeah. She's... Um, I'm surprised she uh, shows up there. Yeah, it's she like seems kind of like serious, right? Well, she's like one of their more high-profile guests for sure. Because usually they get like I don't know, not to say that their guests are B-tier, but not typically. Not like highly well-known like her. Yeah, not Emmy-winning actors. Exactly. Uh, um, let's see. <clears throat> let's go against this thing. Uh, Maybe I should get other Temptems in on this. Get into this fight. Well, man. your wind move would be no, because he's a wind type. He's a wind type, I think. No. Uh, yes, he is. Well, I'm gonna put my side pat in because he needs to level up. He needs to bulk up. I want him to be really Arnie style, right? Yeah, like. Let's get you really bulked up. He's like, we're gonna what? pump you up, right? Yeah, we we were watching an old YouTube video of Arnold Schwarzenegger like in his 30s or 20s, right? No. On SNL. Really? He was that young? Wow. Uh, he looked super he young. He looked like in oh, his no. 40s, like late 40s or mid 40s there in that image. Yeah, and he then, was young in that that video. Young. And he was with Hans and Franz, which is like if you watch SNL like 30 years ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gosh. Or like Kevin Nealon and Dana Carvey. Well, we watched it. I also learned SNL skits from 30 years ago are very much not funny, right? The jokes they are had barely a jokes where sometimes. It was pretty dark. <laughs> there were dark times where they weren't really good. Right? Yeah, they were like the this, dark period. <laughs> like this is barely a joke. We're gonna put it in here. Oh my god, we watched, we watched the Donkey Kong Country <laughs> Jamboree. No, Donkey Kong Country. Really? The Donkey Kong. You're tell them that, man. Oh my god, we watched this. We watched this VHS called Donkey Kong Country: Legend of the Crystal Coconut. It was like a CGI from, I don't know, early 90s at some point. It was a CGI clusterfuck right there. Yeah, of like... It was a hot mess. Based on the Donkey Kong Country cartoon series. Um, I, I'm trying to think of words <laughs> to describe this. It, yeah. Imagine like... I mean, I know all cartoons were bad in the 90s. Some would be like, this cartoon was bad. But if you watch Adventures of Sonic, Super Mario Brothers... Right. 
all those cartoons are garbage. I mean, they have stories that are barely stories, right? It's like, this I'm... is barely a plot. Like Yeah, it wasn't very uh, good. Which the plot was And then the singing was driving me nuts. Oh my god, but... there was singing in it. There was Donkey Kong singing. And the voice they chose for Donkey Kong was like... Ah, <sighs> oh, guys, all I can do is sigh. All I can do is be like... <sighs> They tried. Like... Someone tried. I don't think anyone who made that cartoon actually played Donkey Kong Country, but they knew it existed. They knew it was a thing. They saw the character designs from the game, and they were like, we can do this. We're a bunch of 40-year-old men working on the cartoon. That's what you think. Stop it. Oh, my God. The best was we were watching Super Mario World. Captain N presents Super Mario World was based on the Super Nintendo game, Super Mario World. And they were like cavemen. It was so strange. And Yoshi talked, and it was all very weird and unsettling. I think I remember watching that cartoon when I was a kid. I was like, why is Yoshi speaking? Captain N. Yeah, Captain N. Yeah, that I remember. Captain Nintendo. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's supposedly like a real kid that gets sucked into game world or some shit. Where are we going? Oh, we're going up this way. We need to go up. And he ends up in the face, uh, the face on a milk carton. Oh, yes. Because <laughs> he I, disappears, I, right? I, I think, I'm pretty sure you can watch all those episodes on YouTube. Um, oh, here's the Bel Soto Colonel. Just kidding. I know it's Colonel. <laughs> Don't colonel. worry in the comments be like, oh, does he not know how to spell Colonel? Um, I got it. Colonel. 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 That's the cream they give me after a colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, disgusting. Gosh. Oh my god, that is gross. Right. Uh, so okay, what we're doing here? Your. Um, I did that. Take that. Take that's, that. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oof, sorry. Drink some water, man. Oh my god. Oh, I hear a dog barking, and it's not our dogs. Sweet. I get so excited when someone else's dog's barking. It's acting building. up, right? Yeah, because it's like I don't feel bad when our dog is constantly barking at people in the hallway. Guys, apartments. Oh, no. Oh. We just had to say something. Yeah, he chimed in. He is oh, chiming in. Oh, my God. Guys, it's living in horse. apartments is the worst. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Look but it's shelter, right? Yeah. It's being guess... out in the cold. I guess I say that, and then we walk by like someone who's like a tent sleeping out in the cold in the park somewhere, and yeah. it's like, well, that's probably worse. Oh, I mean, of course. That's maybe definitely worse. Um, oh, I did something good there. Damn, my 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 jinky is really leveling up there. Jinkies. Uh, frond whip. I guess I'll do a frond whip on Grandpa. Frond whip. You yeah. got like. Palm trees. Pieces of <laughs> palm trees in your pocket. I just fan him gently. I'll with go palm get trees. the grapes then. That's hey, always a thing, right? Me. In movies, they have a, a, a sultan or like a an sheik emperor, or, an, yeah. or some, uh, I don't know, like Cleopatra, a story about Cleopatra. She's like laying it up there. I guess that was like the ultimate luxury was to kind of just lie there while people like drop grapes into your mouth. Can you do that? I wonder if there's a place you could do that. Like, <laughs> just have someone like... Yeah, you're interested in going to that place? Yeah, just have someone give you like drop grapes into your mouth and um, fan you with palm trees uh, and you could wear a toga and you could like role play. You're like, oh, I am <laughs> Emperor play. George the Third, and you shall all listen to my word. Um. <laughs> Look, if you really, 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 really want it, I'll do it for you, okay? What? That's cool. Yeah, I'll okay. do it for you. I'll okay, make that we're gonna... fantasy a reality, baby. Guys, we're going to pause because JD and I got to do something. Now? <laughs> 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 like, now, now, Like, now. Okay, bye, like guys. Now. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> All right, we're back. That was a lot of fun. Man, I did not expect it to be that satisfying. <laughs> guys, oops. I don't want to leave my co-op party. Eating grapes yourself is for suckers, man. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta, gotta have someone else feed you your grapes. That is so much better. Such a satisfying feeling when you're getting your grapes oh, put in your mouth. what a feeling. Getting grapes dropped in your mouth. 
Yeah, what a feeling. You shall not pass. Oh, okay, he so. says something else. Uh, <laughs> you're an idiot, whatever. What if, bitch? What if? These guys got fancy uniforms. They're like the. Yeah, really can we like, steal some of that shit? How come they're not giving Max a fancy uniform? He just wears his same right? shit. Right, he's just wearing the same thing. I thought he was part of the crew. Yeah, I guess they don't really like him that much. Or they don't well, like him that They were treating him like crab. Like, are you stupid? <laughs> you dummy. And he's like, but, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to commit first degree murder. And they're like, just <laughs> do it. <laughs> it's simple. It's a simple art. He called it, right? <laughs> yeah, I was like, just murder someone. We had enough of this. Uh, a simple art of murdering. The art of murder. Oh, we just played a game called The Art of Murder. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's true. We beat I didn't it think too. It was... That was a good one. Guys, if you get a chance on get a game on Steam called The Art of Murder, it's a point and click adventure from 2002, maybe 2004. Definitely from a long time ago. And yeah, it's it's an it's, old game now. It's got it's got some good it's, parts. To it's it's really quirky because she says the weirdest shit. Oh my god, her. I, don't know I was just <laughs> I was just sit there and be baffled at what she says. I, it's it's like a combination of the voice acting and the um and the dialogue they give her to read. It's just like the weirdest thing. Yeah, it's unexpected. like huh? You're like oh, that's I guess funny. they're trying to be funny. I think. <laughs> I think. Oh, yeah, you no, it was funny because it's like unexpected. You're like huh? Okay. Yeah. And then her singing skills were... Oh uh, my god. Great. Guys, if you complain about my singing, woof, 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 you should listen to this. This is like... <laughs> this is like really rough. Really, really rough. Riff. Riff, uh, riff. Who should I... I guess... Genki, I haven't seen this dude in a while. Or yeah. Dudette. Dudette. Do the Dudette. Um... Uh, Chamomile. Is he... Oh, is it... Was it... He's level 45. Actually, the good thing is we're kind of at a high level fighting these guys, so we're getting a, a pretty good... Trying to boost my ego here. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good, actually. Uh, and look, I only did half damage, and I have toxic skin. He's got a Schwinn. 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 Get that bicycle out. Uh... Don't you remember the bicycle company? It was like Schwinn. Yes. You're like, what the fuck are you talking no, about? No, I know that. I knew that. I remember oh, okay. Schwinn. Okay. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I remember. That's okay. It was a lousy joke. I remember. I get one pass for allowing, a, a, for pa putting out a lousy joke, right? Oh my god, I should get like a thousand. Have you heard some of my jokes lately? <laughs> 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 oh my god, I got some rough ones. People are like, oh boy. No oh man, when you're doing improv and you do a bad joke on stage and there's just silence, that's like the best feeling in the world. It can't be complete silence. There has to be like cricket sounds, right? Yeah, like that. Creak, 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 creak. Do you like my cricket sounds? Yeah, I don't know what the hell that was about. That was a cricket. It sounded like a old school recording oh of, ho of a horse scalloping or something. <laughs> that did sound like a horse. <laughs> 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 yeah, it'd be like... Sound effects for a horse. Oh, howdy, partner. Didn't <laughs> see you standing there. Oh, this is Peanut. Oh there you now, Peanut. <laughs> now, what that was, I don't know. Come that on. Terrible. That was a horse. That was a horse of I ever That was a like, horse, of course. Of course, of course. Oh, hey, backstabber. Stop it now. Ninja Jutsu. What? All right. Question for oh, JD. Oh, what man. is your favorite song to sing out loud? Like when you hear it, you just gotta like sing it out loud on the on the radio. Uh, gosh. Oh, I put her on the spot. Okay, I'll I'll tell you my favorite. My favorite is Tub Thumping by Chumbawamba. <laughs> the one is like, I'll get knocked out. But I'll get up again. You're never going to keep me down. And I'll the lady comes in and she's down. like, pissing the night away. Pissing wow, the night away. you could do double duty away. there, George. Sing both of the parts. That's great. Like, and he's like, I'll get the vodka drink. I'll get the tonic drink. I'll get the beer drink. 
I'll get the gin drink. <laughs> is that the words for real? That's not it. But something. Oh, he's okay. like, like, he does say, I get the vodka drink. He says, like, a bunch of drinks. He's like, I get the vodka drink. I get the whiskey drink. I get the gin drink. And that woman's just like, pissing the night away. <laughs> pissing the night away. Yeah, I see you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm not I'm 40 talking. for nothing. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Do you understand the words that come? That was a good Chris Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> you fool! You have no idea who you're messing with. General X, he's already beyond the reach of your filthy paws, terrorist. Oh, we're turning into Tam Tam? You're calling us paws. We got paws. some paws. I don't know. I mean, I, lately I've been listening to 90s pop from oh. Pandora. So I thought you were just. I've been just singing. Oh, so Chumbo, Chumbo out, Wumbo would, would be right in your wheelhouse there, right? Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, Knocked down. But I'm singing a lot of Ace of Base. I saw and, the sun. I <laughs> opened up my eyes. And I a lot saw the more sun. Sad, you know? Or TLC. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Every time I hear that song, it th makes me think of. Um, that movie where the Millers. Where the Millers. Yeah. You, you've the seen guy. that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where like. Yeah. Um, I've seen it. Uh, what's his name? Is in the um. Uh, God, why can't I think Ed Helms? Yeah, Ed Helms. He's like in a RV with Jennifer Aniston, and then there was like the kid. Is Ed Hel Hel? Really? I thought it was uh Jason Sudeikis. Is it Jason Sudeikis? Is it? <sighs> you may be right. I may be crazy. But it just may be a lunatic I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. I think it is Jason Sudeikis. Yeah, I think it's they, Jason Sudeikis. They put that on the radio and then the kid's like going crazy singing it. Like yeah, all yeah, the words. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Damn. The I best part is if you watch the movie. like deleted scenes, <laughs> they put it on the, 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 the radio in that scene and then it starts playing the Friends theme and then they just look at Jennifer Aniston and she just has a look <laughs> yeah. on her face like, come really? on, guys, come on. Really? Take that shit off. <laughs> I'll be there for you when the rain starts to start. You know, that song is really not that good. Oh, it's awful. About it. And I like how Friends went on into like the 2000s. They're like, we're keeping it. We paid for this song. We're keeping it, it's man. It's going to stick. It'll be there forever. You're like, oh, uh, like, put it out of it, Mazare. Even when we were all like, we hate these people now. They're not friends. <laughs> Who do you think was the worst friend? I feel like Joey was a pretty bad friend. He was kind of not, you know, he didn't really look out for the other ones or do much. You know, he wasn't like, oh, okay, they're there, buddy. Yeah. He was just kind of. He was just like this real proverbial bachelor, right? Well, he was... at the very end, he didn't even hook up with anybody, right? Uh, I don't think so. He was just with different chicks. Yeah, because Paul Rudd came in and hooked up with Phoebe. Right. Um, right. And then, of course, Ross and Rachel had to hook up. Uh -huh. It was like a thing. They tried not to do it, and everyone was like, how dare you break them up? They have to be together. Um, <laughs> Monica and Chandler. Um, uh, yeah, so he was... But he was the... I feel like they're. Oh my God! Jeez. You little Wally, I hate you. I hate you so much. Get rid of her. We're gonna get rid of you. We're gonna uh, get rid of you. Uh, uh, I hate. This is my aggression. I hate you. <laughs> that was kind of uh, mild. That was pretty mild. I could use my toxic your anger? Bang, or I can heal. I shall use my toxic. No, I need. To... Yeah, I shall use my toxic thing. Oh. I'm no. sleepy, sleepy. Don't kill me. Stay alive. Don't. Ah. Oh, oh man. Oh, you have been. He killed. got the wipes out. He yeah. used the wipes on you and wipes you out. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, Joey. Here's the thing with Joey. He is the quintessential dumb Gosh. person. Every every time you watch like a sitcom for uh, between 1985 and like maybe 2002, uh -huh. you had to have a dumb person. 
Like, you know what I mean? Like there that had to be- a lot of stereotypes for sure. Cause it gave the writers a joke to do. It's like, okay, if this person's just like stupid, <laughs> like we can have them say things that are dumb and it'll be funny. <laughs> so there has to be a person who like says things that no real person would ever say, but it's just dumb. <laughs> Like, uh, I'm trying to think of another sitcom where you- Blossom. You... It was like Joey Lawrence, right? He was always, woo, woo, Yeah, another woo. Joey, too. Look at that. Well, I don't, I don't know. Was his name Joey in the show? Because his real name is Joey. Uh, I'm going to assume so. I've never <laughs> seen Blossom. <laughs> I'm just going to say yes. Yeah. Um, but like in Married with Children, which isn't the best example, it's Kelly, the daughter. Oh, she yeah. was always like she super was really dumb. Ditzy. Yeah, and then um, I'm trying to think what other sitcoms I used to watch from the '90s. Like with um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, it was like DJ Jazzy Jeff. I don't know if you remember DJ Jazzy Jeff when I he would show so. up. I think so. And, think what he and looks Uncle like. Phil would always like throw him out, and when I say throw him out, like literally pick him up and throw him out the door. <laughs> <laughs> like that was a running gag. <laughs> but he always oh, had man. to be like really stupid. <laughs> Crazy. Um, uh, uh, this little Ollie. Wake dead up! Yet. Yeah, he's dead. No, he's still what? got a sliver, man. Oh my god. Oh shit. Um. Oh. Oh, you got a sliver now. <laughs> no, you have the sliver. Uh, Stop picking on me. Um, I hate you. I feel like with cartoons that was pretty common too. You had to have like the one dumb character in a cartoon too that could say like dumb things. There's probably a name, probably a, <clears throat> like a writer would tell you like, oh, that's this character. Yeah, like I, a, there, what was the Looney Tunes? They had like the Vulture. You remember the Vulture character? In yeah. The Looney Tunes, he was kind of like uh, bashful and dumb, dumb like. Well, in Simpsons, of course, it was Homer. Like Homer had to be the quintessential like dummy. So he was he, like, dumb main character. Yeah, he's like, any, anytime you needed someone to say dumb, something dumb. stupid, it could be Homer to say it. And then Lisa had to be like the smart person to contrast Homer. Because they always have like a thing. Yeah, in she was TV. a brainy one. Yeah, you have to have like contrast in TV shows because it makes the dumb person look dumber if you put them next to a extremes. smart Extremes, people are interested in seeing extremes of things, right? Yeah, I guess it like makes it easier to pull off that stuff. Um, and then like the, um, like, uh, yeah, they do that. That's why they have like a skinny tall person next to a short fat person to make it like contrast more like laurel and hardy or Coat. whatever A no not laurel and hardy abbott and costello who's laurel and hardy are they comedians yeah yeah they? they're old-timey comedians yeah, yeah yeah they're different than abbott and costello yeah a different set of people <laughs> <laughs> mm. i don't know why from my my head for a second i was oh, like gosh, I have done it. I oh but you did kill him, him. yeah he, he is the dead now I am he's dead too. <laughs> See? What if we all just kill ourselves at the end of a battle? What happens? Because I'm pretty sure I may just kill myself too. It's like quadruple KO. <laughs> it's like everyone's dead. It's like the ending to Reservoir Dogs. Uh, yeah. That was a dark ass movie. That was a pretty crazy twist when they're like, who's the cop? And then we're like, what is this guy's just paranoid? And then at the end, it was Mr. Orange or whatever his name was. Right? Yeah, they all uh, was had the like... What was the colors or something? Yeah, Mr. Pink, Mr. Oh, Orange. Yeah, and then one. like, oh yeah, here, can we go back and heal? I feel like I need to go back and heal. Can we do that? Yeah, we can do that. We can. Because we need we it. Will. We need it now. Um, yeah, because Steve Buscemi was like, why the fuck do I got to be Mr. Pink? And he's like, I don't know. You just are. And he's like, but I want to be Mr. Pink. <laughs> What's wrong with Pink? Alright, I'm gonna level up my Jinky in another thing because he's just too low right now and we're fighting strong low, people. Low, and, low, low, low. And I need Do I my... need to switch out anybody? Um I don't know. You guys you're doing pretty good. You're doing oh, good. Thank you. You know, we're doing good. We're doing this. Um You know they had a Reservoir Dogs video game too. I really? never played it for the no, Xbox original. Xbox is now 20 years old. You probably know that because it's been plastered on everywhere. They're like, we're celebrating our 20th year anniversary. Xbox. That's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago because they were like the late ones to the scene because when Xbox came out, Sony, Nintendo, and Sega were all competing with each other uh -huh. on a crowded market. Jeez. And <clears throat> Game Wars. And Microsoft was like, we're getting in on this. And they just poured like, 
because they were Microsoft and they had a ton of money. They just poured a ton of money into a gaming, gaming system. I guess it paid off. Now they're like one of the big dogs. Right. Um, Sometimes you got to throw everything in. All in, baby. Yeah, there was an interesting thing I was watching. that It was talking about how Microsoft was worried the gaming systems would take over and there wouldn't be like PCs anymore. Everyone would just be using gaming devices. Oh, what? Really? Oh. Oh, there's... But Max. general, sir. Enough. They're still back and forth? I should never have tolerated your failure to deal with Captain George. Don't you pop it in too much. Sir, with all due respect, that's not what I... Or oh, said enough! I don't care what you want. You were happy enough to accept the prestige and top-notch temtem, and now you balk at your duties? This isn't some wishy-washy dojo. This is Clan Besoto, and you shall follow orders! I... I... You, you what? You are ashamed to Denise and the clan! Get in the airship and shut up! For I am sorely tempted to leave you here with that precious sweetheart of yours. He's not my. Mm. I, I must. Oh, that's Max. Yeah. I'm just making fun of you, Max. Oh, the other weakling. Captain George. Get in the airship, Max. I will not. You what? I will not, sir. This isn't right. It's one thing to rule Kasiwa, but this is a step too far. Ooh, Max coming Ooh. to our aid. That's right. A step too far, you say? Yes, sir, with all due respect. With all due respect, Max? Let me show you the meaning of a step too far. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. He just killed Max. Oh, shit. One less nuisance. Our faces are really neutral for what yeah. just happened. Well, yeah, we should be completely shocked. I am, like, shocked that happened. Yes, and what of it? They were suddenly your friend. Max would go on and on about how you were always one-upping them. How you would always get the praise and attention from the professor. Whatever. How you stole their thunder or their apprentice Eve. All that kindergarten <laughs> stuff. And now you're sorry for them? What sort of friendship is that? If it wasn't for your bullying, they would have never joined us. Perhaps I should thank you. You're just a little jumped up wannabe revolutionary ca cavorting with savages to play the savior and hide your own weakness. And now I'll take a minute to enter you too before I leave this for a second place. I will enjoy your pesky... I will oh enjoy no. this new pesky civilian. Oh, okay, we oh gotta fight no. General X. This is not good. I can't believe he just killed Max. That's pretty messed That's up. That's dark shit. Yeah, you don't see dark shit like that in yeah. Pokemon. Pokemon's always like, yay, you're doing so good. You're going to fight the right? final four. Here, it's like, I just murdered your best friend. He's Whoa, level 87. Oh my god, we're going to die. Okay. This is not good. Well, your nature moves are going to be strong against Zyzer. Uh, oh, well, man. I don't like this at all. We're at a severe disadvantage. Oh, look at that. He even knew to switch out his types because we have nature types. Um, well, I can switch out too, you know. Yeah, well. Definitely gonna have to. Well, 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 well. <laughs> I'm putting in my water type. We'll see you do then. Oh, that's what I was doing buddy. too. You and your stupid mustache. It's like, do you like my mustache? He, they should have had him animated with uh, twirling the mustache. Oh, yeah, like very slightly with flesh. Yeah. Tying a woman to a train. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> this is insane. Oh, yeah. Maybe this is one of those battles we're oh. supposed to lose because he's like twice our level. Um, oh, my God. Maybe I can kill him. Um, I shall give it I a try. I should just stay with Badasmo. He seems to be very, very tough. I mean, obviously he's tough. He's got 80 something here in levels. Wow, look at that. That's the end of everything. Well, yeah, I yeah. don't think this is a battle we're gonna win. Do you know how they do like in Final Jeez, Fantasy? You, you do like time. a battle and then it's just like you're supposed to lose it. Yeah, it's, like, that happens. maybe that's, that's what's true. happening. Cause this I, seems, I guess. Cause... This seems absurdly difficult based on the other people we've been fighting. Um, that would be, my, oh my god. Jeez. Yeah, we have no chance here. Like, what is this? He's sending this, ghost lions well, this is to like kill us? like the Lion King. Yeah, look at that. That's, like, 
Look, and he keeps getting his attack up every time he kills us. This is not. Look at this. Look at this. Look oh, at this. Oh my look god. At this. If I keep getting everybody. higher and higher with my look at this, do you think? <laughs> oh Jeez. my god. This is unfair. I don't like it. I don't like it. I was feeling good about myself. Me too. I had such self esteem, and now it's all gone. That's like Catwoman and Batman Returns. Do you remember that scene? Where she was like, I was feeling good about myself, and then you show up, Batman. I don't remember that. You're like, that I don't know what like the fuck that. you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that does sound familiar. Uh, yeah, and, she says something like that. And now, if I have time for further amusement, I'd let my feral temps feed on your, your pathetic worm. Oh. But I have some drastic strategy readjustments to make. Too terrible. You terrible. Oh, Carlos. Oh, Captain George, Captain George, can you hear me? Stay with me. Oh, my God. A medic. We need a medic here. Oh, my God. Well, I thought it was the ten times I got hurt. Uh, don't tell me it was all a dream. Oh, go up, partner. You must have been truly exhausted. I am. It was tough. Uh -huh. Yeah, a bit intense for everybody. Uh, where are the others? We won. Safe and sound. Yes, we won. Casilla won. And with that, the whole Arpigalido. I don't oh. know how to sell Arcapella. <laughs> Arpipacabo. <laughs> Go back to school. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot. Sorry, guys. Far from it, my friend. Very far. Nothing hurts too much. Yes, I heard. I mean, how do you feel about what happened? Uh, they didn't deserve that. Nobody does. No. Here in Kasua, Clan Basoto showed us his true colors. They'll stop at nothing, not even murder, to control the Arcapopico. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Captain George. I arrived too late to catch General X before he jumped on that last Bill Soto ship. Uh, we failed him. Don't be like that, Captain George. Look around you. Kasua is free. The nightmare is over for our friends. This is not a failure. We can fight another day after the Congress. The wind. What's that? Musa has sent word all the dojo masters of the Arkapakapo, summoning them for an extra extraordinary council here in Uhuru. All the islands. Yes, isn't this something? I never heard of anything like it. Whatever we want, whether we want it or not, things are moving fast. The whole Arkapukapu has had a rude awakening. We were, <laughs> we're expecting that, that Congress, by the way. You and me. Uh, are you a dojo master? Yes, and I'm also the queen of Arbery. Did you hear your head that hard, Captain George? Come on, get your kit. They want to hear our version of the whole Imbroglio. Imbroglio? What the heck is <laughs> that? It's getting late. I'll run ahead, but don't tarry. We're at the Umoja Square in the upper district. Close the airship terminal. Don't make the dojo masters wait. Oh, man. I really want to get these paintings of, like, Tuai that are... Maybe on yes, Etsy, people yeah, are imitating if, that. If someone ever sells these paintings, I totally want to get them to put on our wall. I don't know about the Tuai, but I want to find, like, they have some good ones if you look at yeah, the I've art. Yeah, I've seen some other ones. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, let's see what's in these rooms. Let's bother people. Hello. <laughs> are uh, they done with the celebrations yet? I need to catch some shut eye. What a time to be a Casilla. I'll tell my grandchildren I was here during the greatest battle of our time. Okay. Grandchildren? Doesn't look that old. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I had kids when I was nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was Arasola a month ago in the place I was staying at. It was so similar. These hotel chains, eh? Yeah, that's usually how you hotel you put chains on work. Some clothes. You're just like kind of sitting there in your bra. <laughs> uh, she got bottoms. Yeah, I guess oh, so. She's got, like, a little skirt on. Um, oh, we gotta buy some. We should buy some clothes. The clothes are, like, $10,000 in this <laughs> game. <laughs> We're like, oh, these clothes are nice. They're $10, nice, $10, but... Do they have Black Friday sales in Temtem World? We could buy some clothes. <laughs> we need a coupon code. This is a hotel. This looks like a... Well, I guess it does kind of look like a hotel. What's this it's guy? It's very homey. Uh, I'll go to take it nice and so I'll have another coffee, read a book. I've earned it. Good yeah, for you, buddy. You for did you. earn it. Pat on the back. What about you, lady? I'm fine, really. Just a few bruises and scratches from Bel Soto's feral bun bun. It's so sad what they do to those poor creatures. I mean, we all do shit to our creatures, man. Yeah, right. What the fuck? Did you have a good night's rest? You look much better now. I'm fine, bye. <laughs> okay, how rude. Fine. Get out of here, bish. <laughs> bish? Uh, okay, so we gotta go to the console, so I guess it's up this way. 
Oh, we got a new city. Now we're in the Uhuru. 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 Where'd you go? I got lost. Oh, sorry. I'm over here. I'm over here, baby. I'm over here. Wait, sorry, how do I, I do my attention. waves? Uh, where are you going? You're going the wrong way now. Oh my god. There you are. I'm right here. Okay, where are we going? <laughs> where are we going? I'm like a kid that doesn't hold on to the mommy's hands. Here, I'm gonna put you on one of those kid leashes. You ever yeah, seen the, the kids that wear the back? Yeah. yeah. They call it a monkey leash? Well, it's like a backpack monkey. Yeah, and... <laughs> it's got like a little leash on it. <laughs> oh, musa, here's musa. the council. Oh, I would like to thank all the dojo masters who answered the call of Cole Kasua, who are with us here today. <laughs> dojo Master Sophia for our Denise. Oh, we haven't seen her in forever. Yay. Dojo Master Tahani. That's who gave us the D'Andre. Man, I was trying to think of her forever from Amnesia. <laughs> Captain Kolia, the quest of the volunteer brigade, represented Tuma. <laughs> what happened to the old lady from Tuma? Dojo Master Dr. Sasaya for Sipaku. I'm Professor Constantinos of Arbury University, representing the dons of both colleges. Yay! I declare the first Arha Pocketbook Congress open! <laughs> Pocketbook? <laughs> <laughs> was no precedent in recent history, Captain George! <laughs> Dojo Sotahani has the floor! Thank you. I shall be brief. Many of you had never heard the name of Clan Soto until today. I have ever been investigating them for some time while on a research trip to denise i heard of the ransacking of ancient ruins at the windward fort a certain lady lati turned out to be behind those disturbances bitch i knew she had been associated with certain arborian elements a long time ago so i decided to have the matter professionally investigated musa i would like to call a witness to the stand poor hell carlos mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And Captain George, I was wondering what you'd been up to. By the Salaro, Captain George. <laughs> Captain George. <laughs> the Acavelli, Congress Carlos, and Captain George on the knees. They are both members of the resistance that serve honorably in the Battle of al Woohoo, we're the, badass. The three people of okay, Kisela, so thank you for your service, friends. Hmm. Why is that a question? I'm a private detective. I was hired by Tahani to investigate Lady Lottie. Soon, her trail led me to the secret society known as Clambo Soto. I feel like I just changed his voice. You should have an accent, a Hispanic accent. Okay. I tracked them down from Denise to Omnisia, where Lady Lottie was coordinating a so-called uh, scientific mission to the Anak <laughs> Volcano. <laughs> <laughs> the Belsotos have provoked an artificial eruption for the purpose of creating diamond temtem. Oh no, this rings a bell. That is why I come across Captain George, a young tamer from Zedar. He helped me for your Zibelsoto. Uh -huh. <laughs> Captain George in the the volcano and shut down the Belsoto operation, which we led to a certain Dr. Hamijo. When you said Hispanic, you meant French, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you say Dr. Hamijo? Please, Dr. Sasaya, let us hear the whole story. Oh, fine. If apologies. Uh, my old friend Badru Toure, he, he informed me of the strange comings and goings here in Kiswita and the growing number of uh, airships heading uh, this way. Mm. So while I was in Airbury to investigate Lady Lati, Captain George was supposed to be liaised with Badru Toure here. I think we all know that part of the story. Well, did you find out the armory? Lady Lati is related to the ancient nobility of Lochberg, but I found no other clues. It was a uh, dead end, how you say, when I uh, tried to get back to Kisewa to reunite with Captain George. Well, uh, Shit got fucked, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Carlos, and thank you, Ty. Kevin and George, what else can you tell us? <laughs> They're an old neighbor from Zadar. I didn't know they joined Clan the Soldiers. I learned they were causing trouble in Tuma and impersonating me, so I was jailed. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hi, Captain George, can you me? Don't join, join the resistance. What can you tell us about that, Max? Um, they were my friend. But they're dead now. The general himself killed them when they refused to follow orders. 
We were all so oh, I really probably a loss, Captain George. <laughs> Anything else that you could use? Uh, Ooh, just a long one. Uh, the oh, that's what she said. I've heard of a certain Telebos. But I don't know who or what or where it is. It would be better to know our enemy. But at least we know there's more to climb the sun than we see. We must stay alert and seize the initiative before this happens again. Mm -hmm. well, I think there's enough information for us to deliberate. The Congress thanks and dismisses Captain Josh. Fellow masters, we must agree on the course of action to do so fast. The Belsoto have lost a battle, but not the war. War? I'm not sure we should call it that. Mm -hmm. I dislike it as much as anyone here, Dr. Sasa. Yeah. But I'm afraid that is precisely what it is. Ah. We must be careful with our words. The dons of Aubrey are wary of supporting our capicapo wide operations. They see as a threat to their independence. <laughs> Holy cow, it is irrelevant! Hello, masters. Like I said, it will be a warning to all of us. If we fail to unite and strike against the Bill Soda, we will be defeated. If you tolerate this, your island will be next. <laughs> Let us continue. Uh -huh. Okay. You did well, Captain George. Come, let us uh, talk in private. Uh, this is going to take a while. We should go get a move on. <laughs> well, then we need to decide uh, what to do next, Captain George. I'm hoping the boss has, uh, has uh, some new lead to pursue. Mm -hmm. Oof, that was a long conversation. Mm -hmm. Hello again, Shor Captain George. Here we are again, the three of us. Last time it was in Anga a year ago. Uh -huh. So, uh, where do we stand now, boss? Uh, has the uh, Congress come up with a uh, plan? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sort of. We have some sort of preliminary understanding, but not the firm resolution I wanted. Getting the whole Congress to agree on joint action is going to take more time than I thought. This is getting so f fucking political. Yeah, right. Everybody, I hope, since the other side is Clan Basalto, but I know what you mean. Mm. Obviously, Musa is very aware of the danger that Basalto pose, as is Kali, but he's here with a bunch of volunteers. He doesn't have to support the Tumani Tojo Master. Good thing you made it the right call, boss. Mm -hmm. I'm not paying you to flatter me, Carlos. I'm paying you to fuck me. <laughs> okay, guys, you heard her. You guys get the fuck out. I've got, to, uh, <laughs> I've got, to, uh, got some stuff to do. Spoken <laughs> like a true gumshoe. We can't just stay put until the Archipelagic Congress reaches a decision agreed. We need to take the initiative, go on the offensive before the Basalto can recognize, reorganize and strike mm -hmm. again. The problem is... Uh, we don't know where. And every time we go somewhere, the Basalto strike uh, somewhere else. Uh, they're always uh, one step ahead. I need a crew to follow, boss. Well, I've got Lady Lottie's diary. You've got what? Uh -huh. Oh, let me see. Now I turned Italian, sorry. <laughs> the accent's kind of like <laughs> evolving into, I don't even know. Where did you uh, get this? Uh, you're uh, learning from the best, eh? <laughs> okay, I think this particular page of the diary is uh, more useful to you than me. She seems to be describing some sort of tem tem taming technique. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, sorry. I don't know why that French accent's really getting me. <laughs> Uh, techniques ca course for brace survival is often the greatest of victories only effective if the temptum is already alert if it gives evading and for two, two turns well that's a cool thing yeah that's cool mm. that's a cool thing can you find something useful carlos we need a clue that can take us to their leader or some indication what they're up to next uh -huh. i am on a bus uh, i'm going to need some uh, time to see if there's anything uh, worthwhile here mm. good Get to it then. Captain George, listen, I must get back to Amnesia. I have to discuss all this with Riri. But before I go, there's something you could do. I need you to talk to Sasaya. She's the dojo master of Sepanku and Eminus. She pretty much invented digital temtem back in the day. In fact, back then, Hamijo was one of her most promising pupils. We all have some history there. Mm. Anyway, long story short. Oh my god, make it short. Okay, yeah, we'll talk to her. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, we got it. We're gonna go talk to her. Uh, okay, cool. Well, cool I guess cool, cool. that's gonna have to happen the next episode. Cool, that was fun. We got our asses handed to us by a general, but we're gonna general do some X stuff. X rated. I wonder if you could possibly beat him. Like, if you just came in there with, like, level 100 Temtem and tried to beat him, what would happen? Well, but we'll never know. 
Yeah, our levels are not as high as oh, it it's, it's, it's a should mystery. be for him. But we'll see all that in the next episode. Bye-bye, my friends. Bye.